When I joined the firm many years ago, the partner I worked for was gay and wasn't able to come out until his retirement party, which I thought was tragic. Mercifully, we've moved on a long way since then. Over the last 10 years, the LGBT network has helped shape the firm in so many ways. And I was absolutely delighted that we were the first firm to launch an LGBTI network in Australia in 2013. It was an instant success and it goes from strength to strength. I mean, I was always, I was always quite open about my sexuality from a, you know, the word go. But I think what I'm most proud of now is I can see that being a visible role model has really helped others. I've helped others by being a visible role model. Uh, I joined the LGBT network because uh, from experience of LGBT networks at previous firms, it's a great way to meet other people in the firm. Um, it's, it's a great network, it's a great community. People help each other out. You have access to people you wouldn't normally have access to. Um, and it brings people together. At work, everybody has said, you know, are you out at work? Is it okay? And you're so lucky to work for a place that is so accepting of LGBT people and, and really kind of celebrates that. And I guess in, in what my dream would be in the future is for that not to be lucky, um, for somebody to tell a coming out story and for it to be de facto that there's no issue with that. Um, one of my personal LGBT highlights um, was moving over to the UK and getting married to my now husband, uh, Rupert. Um, living in a country that has marriage equality has been a huge highlight for me. You know, the, 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 the network is full of young lawyers, trainees, newly qualified lawyers who are just very happy and open about their sexuality. That's a big change over the last 10 years. I think, I think what I'd really like to see is there are a lot of geographical differences on how LGBT people are treated across the world. I'd really like to see a change for the better in terms of um, how, how we're treated globally. It's so important to have this network. Um, the thing that I think it gives me um, most of all is a place to be myself, completely myself at work. Difference is so entrenched and diversity is so entrenched in an organisation like ours that that really no one bats an eyelid. And it's almost that indifference and that kind of, this makes no difference at all. It's a, a good thing, but there's no, there's no real consequence to it. Law firms can have the impression of being quite reserved. Certainly I had that impression before going in. And then having the experience that I've had with uh, my firm's LGBT network has totally dispelled that myth and made me really confident that this is a career that I could do. I think uh, in uh, other offices across the world for cultural and, and, and in some cases legal reasons, progress has been more difficult. And I think over the next 10 years, uh, the, the next step really um, for success will be to increase engagement with those overseas offices and sort of spread the, the success of London globally. I'm very proud to be an LGBT ally and to have been co-sponsor of the network since its foundation 10 years ago. In that time, we've come a long way. From a position where people wondered why we would have an LGBT network, and to asking what LGBT stood for, to a position where this is now very much part of our culture. My word to describe the network would be celebration. Um, it's a feeling of togetherness. The network is uh, supportive welcoming, fun, freedom. freedom.